Hi, my name is Emily Shank, and I'm going to talk to you about my Explore internship at the Hammond Research Station. The sole focus of the Hammond Research Station is to research on ornamental plants and container production and in the landscape. One of the things I helped with was, was the trial gardens. A lot of what I did was maintenance of the gardens and making sure that all the trial plants were properly labeled. Beautiful little labels in the middle. Anyway, one of the things I... Uh, Love. We also went on an extension trip to Rick Webb's nursery. One of the things I loved about this, his place was that he was very aware about his resources and what he was using. Another thing I loved was that he dug out an area to actually grow native wetland plants in his flooded plot. Right there. But the main thing I worked on this summer was my research project. What my project was about is if we can reduce if we can see if we can reduce the overall water consumption by using a substrate that is heavier or more water absorbent than most of the currently used substrates and still produce a reasonably quality product in Louisiana's environment. The whole purpose of this project is to reduce the, the cost of water consumption while creating a more sustainable nursery process while not reducing the quality of the product. Basically, trying to make nurseries closer to getting them closer to an ideal production system by only having to make minimal changes. There we go. My first step in the project was prepping the potting mixes that we would be testing throughout the entire project. Basically, I studied soil for the summer. That's what I did. We made five different substrate types ranging from 100% pine bark, decreasing in quarter increments until we reached the zero pine bark or 100% peat moss mix. We measured out all the media using a one cubic foot box and actually hand mixing everything. <sighs> Each substrate. We use pine bark and peat moss as our substrate materials to study not only because they are some of the most widely used container for, produ for container production, but also because the pine bark is a coarse or light media mix and easily loses water, and the peat moss is a fine or heavy media material that easily retains water. In this project, since we want to test the plant's response to water consumption, we picked two taxa of plants that adapt or change the amount of free water available. We picked lantana because it is a fast-growing plant and more heat tolerant, and therefore, in theory, needs less water to maintain a good, steady growth. We also picked hydrangea because it is a slower-growing plant and is less heat tolerant, and therefore, in theory, needs more water to maintain a good, steady growth. I'd also like to say thank you to Mr. Buddy Lee and PDSI for donating us the hydrangea. Awesome. Next came the building of the irrigation. Even though we had a pre-existing irrigation system in place, that they are, but it didn't provide us with enough control over our system. So I spent about a week in the building the three irrigation plots seen in that middle top photo. Also during the time, I performed irrigation quality tests to make sure that the, we were getting full spray coverage inside the irrigation square. Basically, I was making sure that the water for a whole week went this way and not this way. All right. We used two to three plots for our project. One of them was set for a normal irrigation rate, and the other was set to run a reduced irrigation rate, running at 60% of the normal irrigation rate. Once the project started running, I had to bring the lab outdoors. All the equipment on the tailgate was for our pour-through tests, which helped us to check on our plant fertility, standard, fertility standards. This was done to ensure that the plants were getting the proper nutrients and to make sure that the plants were not over-fertilized. We didn't want to see a spike in our growth patterns. I also took measurements of the plant on a weekly basis called the growth index to quantify the quality of plants since we think of growth and visual volume as a sign of a healthy, thriving plant. I'm only going to talk about the data from the lantana in order to save on time. This is preliminary data that we have so far. I'm going to continue collecting data for my project in hopes of turning this into a research, this research project into a paper publication. The top graph shows the amount of water we have collected from both the rain and irrigation sources. And as you can see, the reduced one is actually 2,000 milliliters difference between the normal and the deficient. All right. In the lower graphs, we have the separate growth rate indexes shown of the reduced and normal irrigation plots. I observed that the 0% the pine bark has an increase in growth in the reduced irrigation plot as compared to the normal irrigation plot. What has also been observed is that the 25% pine bark was able to maintain its, its regular growth in, in the reduced plot as well as in the normal plot. This indicates that the quality and growth of the plant did not suffer under the reduced irrigation. If the plots contained a low pine bark or a high peat moss mix substrate treatment, this means that we, had a, we can use a heavier substrate mix that will produce a similar quality product with less water consumption. 
Some of the things I enjoyed about my internship, other than my research project, was getting a visit from my friend Jesse for the day and being able to be surrounded by the beautiful gardens at the Hammond Research Stamen. Thank you for listening and any questions? Ta -da. Okay. Done.